and there is a cross over there if you want to reach it but here uh, the trail is just keep getting better and better and I really want to uh, end the video but I really have a hard time stopping the camera wow look at this isn't isn't that something look at the look at the uh, the view from this uh, point and uh, let's uh, let's keep uh, let's keep let's keep going Today I am on a mission to go to the summit of Schafberg mountain, one of the most beautiful mountains here in Austria. And I am here right now in a town called St. Wolfgang. Earlier in another video, I walked through the streets of that um, beautiful town that you, you see up ahead. And in this video, I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna take a, a cog uh, railway it's the steepest uh, cog uh, railway here in Austria and forgive me there is a bunch of uh, a lot of constructions going on so that's where you buy a ticket to go all the way to the summit and we will uh, we will enjoy the uh, the, the uh, spectacular view over there and here there is a beautiful um, restaurant in case you want to eat before you go up to the mountain and also this ferry that you see in front of you that one takes you all the way to another beautiful city called St. Gilgen and I will explore that in another video so for now let's uh, let's go buy a ticket and we will uh, we will go all the way to the summit and that is about uh, 1780 meters um, high altitude so let's let's go It took about 30 minutes to get here the, um, and that is uh, the Cog uh, Railway ride 
and it, they built it in 1893 if I'm not mistaken it's very very old and but the view is very very spectacular it's like as you can see right now once you get off the uh, the train you will enjoy this uh, this view and you have um, a few options as far as uh, hiking trails but first I'm gonna go to uh, to the summit up there there seems to be a rush a restaurant uh, right there in case you want to to eat to grab something to eat and the uh, the ticket costs um, probably around 58 euros a round trip and that also includes the uh, the ferry right to the uh, to a town called St. Gilgen if you watch the video from the beginning I started my video from the uh, the ferry station that you saw earlier and that ferry takes you to St. Gilgen town so if you go down after you visit after you finish uh, your uh, your uh, your mountain visit you can uh, you can go to uh, St. Gilgen by by a ferry and then you can explore that beautiful town I will do a, a walk and talk video in St. Gilgen when I get there but for now let's uh, let's explore this uh, this beautiful uh, place you see people uh, off in the distance there are uh, a few viewing platforms over there and the uh, in 2018 I was actually in this area I visited this area in 2018 but I did not film I did not film uh, my visit at the time I did not have a YouTube channel in 2018 but now I am visiting it again but this time I am filming it and I remember going to a very very nice uh, viewing platform over there and that's where I'm gonna go and then later if you uh, see behind me there is uh, that's the summit over there I'm not sure if that's a lodge or a restaurant or a combo both but there is a, a, a nice viewing platform on the on the other side but first let's let's go uh, this way and when I when I bought my ticket um, round-trip ticket they have to t um, to ask you what time you want to come back because I think uh, you cannot just uh, jump in a train and then go down you I think they have a time slot or something like that because the gentleman asked me what time he want to come back I told him I am gonna spend at least two hours um, here because I'm planning to eat to have lunch in the, at that restaurant um, up there over there and that's why I told him I'm gonna stay here for two two hours but if you if you just want to get here and take photos and enjoy the views you may not need two hours to spend unless unless you're planning to uh, to do some hiking over there because there is no shortage of uh, hiking trails you gotta be very conscientious of where you're stepping over here it's kind of scary you look at the uh, you look at the view I'm gonna point the camera down to let you enjoy the uh, the view wow it's uh, it's really really scary a little bit scary and there is a cross over there 
if you want to reach it but if you are afraid of height I don't recommend it I don't want you to get dizzy but in my case I like to uh, I like to venture out and, uh, and take some risks if necessary because to get here it takes a lot of efforts to uh, to get here to this to visit this region and it would be a shame not to uh, to do uh, as much as you can when you get here it's really it's a rather nice place for photos and the weather is very clear today but if it's uh, cloudy or sunny I mean if it's cloudy or if it's raining uh, don't come here don't go up here because you're not gonna see anything it's gonna be foggy you don't want to waste money just uh, check out the weather forecast the night before to decide whether you want to do this trip or not see I got to the uh, to this viewing platform now <laughs> so here, uh, here is a very nice uh, nice viewing platform when I got here in 2018 it was a little bit uh, raining but the view was not that bad you look at the uh, you look at this uh, view isn't it isn't it something wow it's wonderful it's really really wonderful but keep in mind if, uh, if, if you are uh, suffering from uh, motion sickness or I don't want to call it motion sickness if, uh, if you're if you're afraid of height it may not be a good idea to look down because it's really really scary it's scary to be uh, standing on the cliff and uh, I think I am about uh, 1780 meters altitude so what a beautiful uh, what a beautiful place I took the better part of uh, 10 minutes break here and I took a lot of photos and let me show you now there is a there is a very nice uh, spot for uh, photos you see there there is a line up there people are taking photos here and you see uh, let, let's see you see beautiful uh, beautiful view you can stand here and take a take a photo but there is a queue you have to wait in line to uh, to take a photo I will try to make it to the top now to the summit and there are a few uh, options as far as uh, eating and drinking coffee and all that kind of stuff right now is uh, afternoon it's a good time to have lunch before you make uh, your way down but if you are short on time you may not need to spend that much time here so there is a, a trail up here seems that's gonna take you all the way up and there is a restaurant up ahead over there so let's go let's go this way and see the, the view from uh, <laughs> from this uh, viewing platform see I did not come here to this uh, point in 2018 because I was in rush the last train to go down was about uh, 5 o'clock and I got here around 4.30 so I was rushing but this time I'm glad that I have uh, 
plenty of time on hand let me show you the view over here wow it's really really beautiful it's so beautiful in every sense of the word and if you hear the wind forgive me if I if the sound of quality is not it's not that good because when you are in a high elevation you're gonna struggle with wind no matter how much you're trying to block the wind from hitting your camera I tried many many things to avoid that but every attempt failed especially when I do my walk and talk there is no way to avoid that issue when I uh, when I walk on talk in a high elevation such as this one and uh, what a beautiful uh, place the the uh, the other videos that you watch you may not hear the wind because what they do they put uh, music in the background and they don't talk you see in my videos I, I, I talk I cannot just uh, I cannot just take videos and uh, stay silent I like to talk because uh, because in the in the future 20 years from now I want to watch my own videos and I want to see what kind of words came out from my mouth 20 years ago you see what I'm saying I want to hear my own voice I want to see what I talked about and all that kind of stuff it's better than uh, just uh, filming and putting uh, music in the background because music doesn't do well doesn't do any good as far as memories if you want to if you want to keep memories for decades YouTube will be the way to go because you film a video and you upload it not only for the viewers it's also for yourself because you want your family and your friends and also you you want to watch your videos decades from now and this is what I usually uh, recommend if you visit a beautiful place like this one I highly recommend you do what I am doing right now just turn on your camera your iPhone whatever camera you're using and just document your visit and if you're shy if you are uh, for some reason you're shy you know you cannot talk you don't have to uh, upload the video and make it public you can set it to private so that in the future if you decide to make it public you have that option and also in YouTube there is an option that uh, it's called unlisted that means people will not have access to your videos but your friends your relatives your children whatever you know they they will have um, a link to it to watch your video if you give them the link to your video so that your family can watch your uh, your video and this is exactly why I am doing what I am doing right now so whoever any member of my family if they want to watch my visit I can just then I I just send them a link to my video and let them uh, watch it and hear me hear me babbling wow there are a lot of uh, dogs uh, coming around this area but anyway folks uh, there is uh, I'm not sure if I can uh, if I can go there there seems to be a nice uh, cliff over there I'm not sure if I could go there or not we will uh, we will get there because this area now is a little bit crowded a lot of tourists but my uh, my trick is always to avoid crowd go to a places that nobody nobody else goes to places that require some kind of risks you know and there seems to be a trail over there that looks uh, empty nobody nobody goes there and we will go there now and enjoy the view from from over there to avoid uh, getting people on camera 
see there seems to be a nice uh, trail up there and there is less crowd and the train uh, stop is over there as you can see and I'm gonna find my way to uh, to that uh, cliff there's a beautiful view of the cliff and the uh, Lake Wolfgang Sea is down there so if you haven't watched my walk and talk video in that beautiful town make sure you uh, you check it out give it a chance because you might uh, enjoy what you you see and uh, I highly recommend you spend at least an hour just uh, walking through the streets of uh, that beautiful town is really really beautiful and I'm gonna do a lot of walk and talk uh, videos in uh, in Austria and last year I did uh, a walk uh, and talk video in uh, in Salzburg it was really cold check out that video it was in December if I'm not mistaken it was Christmas time I I, uh, I, I did uh, what they call Christmas uh, market I walked through the Christmas market and uh, it was really really beautiful um, beautiful uh, day nighttime you can see the lights of the Christmas market and all that kind of stuff and here is the uh, here you can see a better view of the of the cliff and the trail seems to be going I'm not sure uh, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take and I see people actually walking walking on the cliff all the way off in the distance but that's not what I'm gonna try to do because once you walk on the cliff you're not gonna enjoy the view of the cliff you've got to to uh, to uh, to stand outside the uh, away from the cliff to enjoy this view such as the one that I am enjoying right now it's really really beautiful uh, beautiful uh, place so before I wrap up this video I think I'm gonna wrap up this video around this area but I just want to see where this trail will uh, will take me to you see where those people are walking see out of the southern now I don't see a lot of people you see that's what I'm talking about if you if you just stay away from the touristy uh, crowd, crowded area the one that you saw earlier on the top that was very crowded that's the summit because most people go there take photos and then uh, they call it for the day and then they go they go down but here uh, the trail is just keep getting better and better and I really want to uh, end the video but I really have a hard time stopping the camera wow look at this isn't isn't that something look at the look at the uh, the view from this uh, point and uh, let's uh, let's keep uh, let's keep let's keep going Thank you. I got to this uh, spot. It's really beautiful. And I am by myself here it's so quiet right now you get a lot of tranquility and silence if you appreciate that and uh, 
anyway folks I'm gonna have to wrap up the video over here and I hope you enjoyed it and if you watch the video from start to finish and if you enjoyed it and you watch it in its entirety please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it helps the YouTube algorithm pick my video so for now uh, see you in my next videos of Austria have a good day bye bye